This is not gonna be easy. I'm on vacation in Edmonton right now, and I wanna be as productive as possible with my time here. So I'm gonna try completely disconnecting from the internet for a full week to see what effect that has on my productivity. So, at noon today, I have disconnected myself from the house internet. I don't know what the password is, so I can't get back on. And I already regret making this decision. One of my main priorities this week is I really want to finish this murder mystery game that I have been working on writing for the past number of months. So, hopefully without any internet, I will have less distractions and it'll be much more efficient at getting this done. in, I already want to check Facebook. Going into this, I thought the biggest challenge would just be staying focused and keeping my mind engaged without constant access to the internet. What wound up being the hardest part was just giving up access to any information that I wanted or was curious about or needed to know. So now I am starting my days uh, turning on cable news and using that as background noise through my morning routine. By day three, I literally just gave up and called my brother to ask about what was going on in the day. Yeah, so who got nominated for Best Actress? Uh, Isabella Hubbard for Elle, Ruth Nega for Loving. Oh, that's fantastic. Typically, this is the point where I would spout off some information about procrastination, cite some studies, and try and give you some information. Unfortunately, without the internet, I haven't been able to do that yet. So I'm probably gonna cut away now and just add that info in post. Our desire to procrastinate basically represents a back and forth struggle between two parts of our brain. The prefrontal cortex, which is responsible for our ability to plan and set long-term goals, and the limbic system. By cutting off access to the internet, I'm hoping I can weaken my brain's pull for immediate pleasure and reduce my level of procrastination. And so far, it appears to be working, as I sit down at a coffee shop to begin editing the first draft of my murder mystery. So it is finally the weekend and me and my girlfriend are heading out. We're gonna check out a cafe. I am so glad to be leaving the house and I only have two days left without internet. Whew. So Catherine, how would you say I've been for the past week? I think you've been super productive. I feel like you've been able to focus, which is pretty great. But I think you've also been a little bit sad. <laughs> yeah, you've been a little bit sad. I'm just seconds away from it finally being a full seven days. I have my alarm set for noon today, and I'm just slowly watching the seconds tick by. Over the course of this week, I managed to finish my murder mystery. I read two books. On average, I probably added two more hours of productivity to my day by giving up the internet. But oh my gosh, was it painful to do. I so miss the internet, I am glad to have it back. After doing this challenge, I don't think I'll ever try going completely without internet ever again. It has made me incredibly aware of how easy it is to lose track of time scrolling the web if you're just not careful. 